Hi friends, I hope you are having a great day. I am Krishna Priya from Mary Angels Curry Solution here to help you with your OAT modules. Hi, good morning. My name is Rich and I'm the staff nurse on duty today. It looks like you are really in a bad shape. Please be seated. Thanks a lot, nurse. All right. So do you mind telling me what you went through? Yes, definitely. Like earlier today, I just uh, met with an unfortunate incident. Like I was doing my gardening as usual and I accidentally ended up storing up a beehive mm -hmm. and I was swarmed by these bees and I was stung quite badly okay. and now I'm in a really bad shape. That is why I'm here. Oh, that must have been extremely terrifying for you. But don't worry, please be relaxed. You have reached the right place and we will take it from here. Mm -hmm. uh, so for our better conversation, can you please tell me your name? Uh, you can just call me Nigel. That would be fine. All right, Nigel. So if you don't mind, uh, can I examine your bee stings because I need to make sure that there are no stinkers left. Definitely, I want you to do that. Thank you very much. And meantime, could you also tell me, did you adopt any first aid measures at home? Oh, not at all, not even a bit, because nothing went through my mind. I was totally blank. Okay. Like, I was really scared with what happened. The only thought that went through my mind was take me immediate medical care. Mm -hmm. And that is why I just rushed down here. Oh, I totally <clears throat> get it. And if I were you, I would also do the same thing. And I appreciate you for coming to seek medical attention. That's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. So based on my examination, I couldn't detect any stinkers on your body. So all I can see is a little bit of redness and swelling here and there, which is quite manageable with the medication. So there is nothing to be alarmed about. Mr. Nigel. Um, I mean, are you certain for sure? Because I'm still having a lot of difficulty. I mean, my whole body is aching. I have this throbbing sensation running throughout my body and I'm still concerned there are quite a bit like uh, lots of stings remaining. Mm -hmm. So I would just advise you to check it once again. Oh, it's not unusual <laughs> to feel this way, but I had done a thorough investigation and I ensured you that there are no stingers left, so you need not to worry about it. Right now you are in a little bit of shock after the incident and you just have this swelling, redness and itchiness all over your body. For that, I can administer an injection which will make you feel better. So can we proceed with it? Uh, but before that, I'm really a bit scared. I mean, I mean, I heard a lot of things about these bee stingers and these kind of incidents, mm -hmm. and I heard that a lot of people have succumbed to these kind of like injuries and all. So I'm also really scared right now. I just think that you're being a bit nice to me. So you, do you think that my life is at risk? Do you think that I could possibly oh, yeah. die? Absolutely not. I understand you are traumatized right now and that's why you're thinking a lot like this. And you might have heard stories about people dying from mm -hmm. these stings. But that is a severe case. In your case, there's nothing complicated. There are right. no stingers left. It's just an after like a side effect of these stings. So there's nothing to be alarmed about. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, I will administer antihistamine for you, which is an allergy shot, which will bring down your symptoms. So can mm -hmm. I proceed with I it? Mean, I'm still a bit apprehensive. I mean, I want to get a bit of, I mean, better clarity. Mm -hmm. So could you just tell me like what's going to happen once you kind of like uh, give me this injection or these kind of medicines? Uh, that's a good question from your end. So as I mentioned, <clears throat> this is an allergy shot, which will help you with your itchiness, your swelling and the pain mm -hmm. that you're experiencing right now. Mm -hmm. And after administering this injection, we will observe you for some time time to make sure that you're not having any complications. You need not to worry about it. So shall we proceed with the injection? Well, if that's the case, I guess you can proceed. Thank you very much. So um, based on our observation, we have administered the injection mm -hmm. for you and we can notice a little bit of changes as well. And I'm glad to say that your symptoms are quite subsiding as well as I can see the swelling is also coming down and you look a little better as well. Are you feeling any better right now? I mean, yeah, I'm also getting the feeling like I'm already starting to feel quite better. So I guess things are working out right now. Oh, I'm really pleased to hear that. So can I please check with you? How did you come to the hospital? You have any uh, friends or any latest with you oh no i'm just living all alone by myself mm -hmm. and the only thing i just i mean have access to is like a cab and that is what exactly i did i just got a cab and came here oh i perfectly understand that so do you want me to arrange a cab for you to get back home oh that would be extremely nice of you if you could do that for oh, me my pleasure and you're really good to go right now because we okay. have observed you thoroughly and you're doing really great at the moment uh but before you leave i need to give you some instructions that you have to comply at home so shall i proceed with it oh uh, definitely i'm all ears i 
want to hear about it. Thank you very much. So since you experienced this trauma, it is very important that you take ample amount of rest for some time mm -hmm. and make sure that you follow all the instructions that I have told you. Right. And I will give you an ointment which will help you to subside the symptoms and make you feel better, which will bring down the pain that you're going through at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So make sure that you apply the medication at the right time as well. Will you be able to do that, my child? Yes, definitely. I can do that easily. I, I'm glad to hear that. Also, for the next 12 hours, please be cautious and make sure that in case of any abnormalities, please seek medical intervention immediately. Okay. So I hope that's clear for you. Everything is crystal clear. Lovely. So besides this, is there anything else you want me to do from my end today? I mean, you ordered a lot for me. I mean, I can't ask anything more from you. You're welcome. And thank you very much for your cooperation too, Mr. Nigel. So as I mentioned, you can go home peacefully. There is nothing to be worried about. You are perfectly fine and good to go. Yes, thanks a lot. Nurse. So please wait here. I will arrange the cab for you. Thank you Once very again. much. Thanks a lot.